back and it feels so good to be back um yeah so like i was telling you guys before i'm on this consistent journey and my goal is definitely to be here every week for you guys to bring you another review on a product and i'm back <laughs> i'm back so let's jump into it my name is shantae simpson i am a licensed cosmetologist turned beauty blogger who loves to give loves to do tutorials loves to teach about hair loves to do makeup and i'm also an entrepreneur i have my own business i just recently launched lip gloss and i added uh body butters recently but that's a whole nother conversation on its own maybe one day i'll do a youtube video on that um, brown shirt glam collection but moving on i've been doing this for 15 years or so and so i feel like i have a wealth of knowledge to share and so i enjoy this because it's my good it's my comfort place i mean I'm, i've been doing hair for so long that i can talk about it for hours so today <laughs> today i did a tutorial and a review on uh these magic rollers right uh i know there's a lot of reviews already on youtube but i did watch some of them just to kind of get an idea of what other people thought about them um, and you know just look at some different methods of how different people use them and I was I was wondering because it was just so many mixed reviews on it I said is it is it user error or could it be um, you know I mean what what is the problem like why are all these coming out why are so many different reviews on this one particular roller well <laughs> These rollers are more like made out of like rubber. I guess it's like rubber, I don't know, like a plastic, but these are a little different. Um, they're not as easy to, how do you say? They're not as easy to operate as a usual, as a usual roller, but uh, I, I found it fascinating because I was wondering how it would dry. I was wondering if the texture of my hair would look smoother um, because you know this is heatless there's no heat I use no heat on this hairstyle I I didn't go into the dryer or anything I don't think you can even go into the dryer with these because they're like I said plastic or rubber so I don't think you can go into the dryer with them um, but yeah uh, I'll just say I have a mixed review on this I won't say that magic rollers are bad right but I just think that I just think that you have to have a really good system with it. Like, it can be perfected, I think. I think these can be perfected. So starting out, I got these rollers from Amazon. Okay, I got them from Amazon. They come like 30 or so to a pack. Um, they're kind of cool looking. They look kind of like, I don't know, just something I've never seen before, right? But the way you're gonna use them is you can, um, you roll the hair onto it like a roller. You roll the hair onto it like a roller and then you're going to take your thumb, like take your thumb and insert it here and then pop it through. So that is how you're going to get the roller to actually stay. So it's kind of tricky, but once you get the use, once you get the hang of it, it'll be pretty simple for you to do as well. I have a full confidence that it's going to be pretty, very easy for you to do as well. Um, but other than that, um, I. Uh, how I did it, you probably wonder how I created it. I started with wet hair. Of course, I recently shampooed and conditioned my hair with uh, Pacifica, because I like to mention the products that I use too, just so you guys can know, and in the event you decide to try it out, you know what I use. Um, I use Pacifica Pineapple Curls, the curl defining shampoo. Um, I've tried this line before. Um, I like the shampoo and conditioner. I think I reviewed it in another video just recently. Um, there was a curl cream that I didn't really like. I didn't use that today. I used the foam wrap that I used before, but this is the actual uh, pineapple curl shampoo. I really like it. It's a curl defining shampoo by Pacifica Beauty, and it claims to add balance and enhance, enhance the curl with hyaluronic acid, pineapple, and super oils. Um, at the, you know, it does shampoo really well and cleans the hair really well, leaves the hair moisturized. So I do recommend that. Um, the conditioner that I used behind it was the Pacifica Beauty Pineapple Hydrate. It's a curl nourishing mask. That is the mask that I used in the hair to, you know, really deep treat the hair because, you know, I just, I like to do that 
it's really good for softening the hair. I found it good for softening up the hair. The hair felt very moisturizing. Um, it did uh, hydrate it well, it detangled well. I did not go under the dryer with this one. I didn't feel like it needed it to really penetrate. It penetrated my hair relatively well without the dryer. So I would say yes to the shampoo. I would say yes to the conditioner. Um, and then, of course, what's really important is the styling aids that you use with it, because really it's not gonna matter what you do. If you use the wrong styling aids, it's not gonna come out right, right? So I like to use a foam wrap. I always like to use a foam wrap because foam wraps are just, uh, usually they dry really well for my hair or for most people here they're quick drying That's why I like to use a foam wrap and usually a foam wrap is going to give you a smooth set So this is the foam wrap that I use It's by the do um, You can find them on Instagram as I love the do um, But uh, you can purchase this from her website or from Amazon, but it's called the do mousse def mousse def texture foam high definition control mousse I've been using this for weeks now on here and I've done several reviews on it so you guys already know how I feel about it. And if you're new here, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe, hit a like and let, you know, whatever. But but seriously, uh, I love this mousse. I love this foam and no, nope, not sponsored. Just something that I really like and it's really helpful. And usually when I do my hair with it, my hair comes out really, really nice. So I use that on the hair to roll the hair. And to put on the ends of the hair, I always use like a, I always use like an oil, right? So I use this oil that I made. Um, this rolls, this oil is really good for um, hydrating the hair and softening the hair and setting the ends, so the ends don't have a frizz look to them. That's why I like to use my own oil. It's basically based with castor oil. That is the base oil in it, and then there's essential oils in it, like essential oils in it, like lavender and peppermint and rosemary for growth so it is a nice little combination of those types of oils one day i'm going to make it on here so you guys will know what i used exactly in it and how much so you guys can try it at home as well because you know you would need everything sometimes to make the look to create the same look right so but anyway um what else can i tell you what's really important with these rollers um is the tension you know you don't want to, you want to make sure that you, when you roll, when you wrap the hair around the roller, you really tighten it around the roller and make sure the ends are smooth and then roll it with the same tension all the way up into the root of the hair and then really fasten that onto the hair, making sure that there's not a big gap really between the roller and the root. Like you want to make sure this is almost like completely on the root to make sure it sets nicely and that you don't have a big poof at the root. Um, what I can tell you about these rollers, my overall review of these rollers, is not that the rollers are bad, right? It's just that the rollers take so long to dry. And I have to mention, it can be a user error. It could be me, I could have used I use the same amount of product that we use on any other roller. Any other any other time I've done a roller set, I've used, I've used the same products over and over again, so you guys have seen. Um, I've done a roller set with this same system. I've done a heatless roller set. I've done like a couple of different hairstyles with the same system. So it's not that I've changed the system up of what I use. It's just really the roller. Like you have to have time for these to, to set. Um, these, I rolled my hair with these last night, right before going into bed, um, about nine o'clock, which is what I usually do. Like I roll my hair with them about nine o'clock and then, um, I'll let it dry all the way until like three o'clock the next day. Still not enough drying time for me. I still have damp areas in my hair, which is why I didn't bother the back so much because I really want it to dry. I don't want a bunch of frizz back there, but it's a little damp in some areas and that in itself is disappointing because these are not easy to use like they take some time like you got to get used to using these um to really get your rhythm and get going with them um the plus about them is that they do uh sleep well like you're not gonna have a bad sleep with them but the downsides is that if you have thick coarse to medium hair like me very thick coarse coily hair 
is that uh, it's going to take, it might take like almost two days. Like I feel like my hair would be really nice if I had two days of drying time. But really, who has 48 hours for drying time? <laughs> Who has 48 hours for drying time? Like, not me. So definitely don't want to, um, I will say the other option, only, th I don't know, like, I think sometimes, okay, maybe it's user error. Maybe you use too much product. But like I said, it's the same system that I did before. It's not like I did a different, a different formulated system with this whole set. Um, I would say you could roll your hair smaller. Of course, if you roll your hair smaller, it will take less time to dry. So, in that case, I would say it could be, that would be a user error problem, the reason why my hair is not dry, because I could have rolled it smaller. So, if you roll your hair smaller, you will definitely get a better set than me. I feel like the set came out okay, right? Overall, it came out okay. Um, but I feel like it could, I know that it could have came out better. I feel like, I, like I like the way some of the curls set, like the curls look, actually look kind of nice, you know, um, but, but like I was saying, and the, for it to be heatless, like it's heatless, but then you have some areas that really frizzed up, like right here, that just didn't, there's not a lot of that, but the fact that there's some, is just annoying, so I'm just going to tuck that in, but, but yeah. Um, I don't, uh, that's, the, that's the only thing, the only drawback to these rollers is the fact that, is the fact that they take so long to dry. Um, but other than that, the system that I use, uh, the products that I use, I feel are a good fit for the roller. The hair set lovely. It is pretty smooth. Mostly is not a ton of frizz, but like I said, I feel like it could have, it could have definitely had another, could have done another eight hours. And then with another eight hours or so, I could have had a really, I think I could have had a really nice set. Um, let's see what other questions you would probably have. How would it be if I worked out on it? Depending on if you sweat or not. If you don't sweat, um, it would probably be okay. It would be okay, right? But if you're a sweater like me, it's not gonna hold. Um, if you go outside and work out, not gonna hold. It's gonna frizz. If your hair is any anything like mine, as far as 4B, um, you have a 4, 4B, 4C texture. I have 4A in the front, 4B throughout, but I have a coarser text texture of hair. So um, usually it doesn't really last. It's gonna be some frizz because I went walking last night and yeah. It doesn't really matter what you do, it's gonna be some frizz. So, um, not really the best workout style. I, as I recommend in my other videos, because obviously it's important to still be active and I got some, some flake or something. But obviously it's, it's, it's important to be active when you're, even with natural hair, and, you know, all the time. So, I would say that work out around it. Like, figure it out. Um, figure it out what's best for you, you know, whether it's morning workout and or afternoon workout, evening workout, just try to do something around your roller time and it's, it's, it's it pretty, it works out pretty well for me that way. Um, yeah, so if you have to go to work and you try these rollers out, roll your hair on Friday if you're off on the weekends <laughs> so you can have an entire weekend or instead of buying one pack, buy two packs. Roll your hair smaller and your hair will be completely dry. What I like about, the, about these rollers is the fact that my hair did come out smooth, um, pretty smooth in the areas that it's dry and um, it was heatless. Like all I did was roll my hair and go to bed and get up. That I do love. Um, but like I said, it would have been even better. This whole look would have been even better if it would have dried, obviously. Drying is really important, so that is going to be what sets sets the style is how it dries. So, yeah, so I would recommend that. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching my review. But yeah, I think I covered everything for you guys. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. But overall, I would say the rollers can get a thumb up. They can get a thumb up. Like there's not a complete thumb down. I think that it has a lot to do with um, how you do the rollers. Uh, you know, 
make sure your sections are small enough. Make sure that you use enough rollers depending on how thick your hair is. Um, I've seen some reviews on this where some people had like super fine hair and it was very easy to do. Like the hair was so fine that the hair did dry really quick. So it was no problem. It was no problem. But when you have super thick hair like me, it's, it's you gotta, I think you gotta double up on the rollers. Um, but yeah, I, I would think that would be it. Um, yeah, Pacifica Beauty products, really good. I recommend the shampoo and conditioner and that worked really well in combination with the Dew Mousse along with an oil to seal your ends to keep your hair from like super frizzing up. And yeah, so overall, I think that is it. That is it. The workout, my personal workout is coming along really well. Um, I'm still losing weight, yo. I'm still losing weight, so still working on that. Um, been eating right. I definitely try to eat right 85% um, of the time because that's the main problem. And yeah, try to eat right 85% uh, of the time. And yeah, so uh, that's coming along really well. Just uh, planning my hair around the workouts and planning, kind of planning what you're gonna eat. It's been working out as well. So planning is everything with all of this. Um, but but yeah, so overall, if you like this video, definitely give me a like. Leave a comment because it means so much. I love to hear from you guys. Um, leave me a like so my video can reach um, a good amount of people and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you're new here um, so we can continue to grow together. Um, my goal for this channel is to do mostly uh, hair care tutorials to make your life easier because this uh, natural hair game can be a challenge for all of us. Um, not that I'm a, I'm a professional, but we all have, um, it's really a trial and error with natural hair. So like this. Sometimes it's, it's really a trial and error. I mean, there's some products that work, but then there's some combinations that don't work and that's what I want to hear, want to be able to do for you. I want to be able to make this journey for you very easy and effortlessly. Um, that is one of the reasons why I've been fo focusing mainly on heatless hairstyles because I've been trying to find something that is actually easy to do and not so challenging. You know, um, the dryer is, well, I don't love the dryer, so I don't know too many people who do. <laughs> so I'm always trying to do like heatless style. So let me know if you like that. And if you want to see more rollers, different roller reviews, let me know that as well. But yeah, so that is what I got going on on here. Um, so if you um, have a friend that is looking for someone that can help them with their natural hair journey, definitely share me with them. Um, but yeah. Definitely just want to make sure you guys knew that. And yeah, overall, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my super long video on um, the Magic Hair Rollers and how they work for me and what I recommend for you. And yeah, so I will see you guys back next week yeah, um, with a new review on hopefully something heatless, if I can do another heatless review, trying to avoid heat because overall heat it's never really, really great for our hair. It's really good to be able to find products that keep the moisture and to not use heat. The less heat, the less damage. So not that I won't ever use heat, but I definitely try to avoid. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching my Magic Hair Roller review.